Our next caller is Ryan from Alberta, Canada. Hey, what's up, Ryan? How can we help you? Hey, guys. How's it going today? Good. Good. All right. All right. So uh, back in late December, I started listening to the podcast, got hooked right away and bought the New Year's bundle. Uh, I've run anabolic and currently I'm about three quarters of the way through performance. Obviously, I was going to go into aesthetic next, but realized that this runs into the time of year where I'm going to begin to spend a lot of time away from home. So June through August, I'll be gone about 50% of the time camping with my family. And then uh, September through November, I'll do a lot of time hunting with friends. So June through August, yeah, I'll do a lot of hiking with the kids, uh, break resistance bands with me, I'll do trigger work. And when I'm gone hunting September through November, I usually hike about 10 to 20 miles a day. Um, I won't do any extra work during that time as you know, we're usually up before sunrise, leave before sunrise and then get back after sunset. So my question is, should I run aesthetic anyways and just make my way through the program a little slower or should I run something else? I had thought about rerunning through the phases of anabolic and performance that align with my goals, which is primarily strength and aesthetics, but I was curious to hear your opinions. Also in the next little bit here, I'm going to add a few days a week, one to two of uh, trail running and hill climb in order to prep for hunting season. Mm, okay. That's a good question. You're going to be doing a lot of stuff um, when you're gone. You're going to be very active. <laughs> Now, I would say you can do aesthetic when you're home, and when you're not home, you do some body weight exercises, and MAPS Anywhere has got some really good workouts in there, so we can send that to you if you don't have it. But here's another thing I want to add. Uh, don't overdo it, uh, You know, especially when you're doing so much activity. I know we can in our heads we can think, okay, I need to get in my weights as well, but it's very easy when you're doing that much activity to add resistance training, and then it be too much, and then what ends up happening is you – not only do you get zero uh, results from it or zero benefit, you actually kind of start to go backwards a little bit. So I would definitely listen to your body. If you feel like you've got the strength and energy and it feels good to do some resistance training, if you're not near equipment, MAPS Anywhere has got the best. They're the best workouts you'll find anywhere that don't require uh, any equipment except for resistance bands. Uh, this is a fun question because I I don't think there's a, a, a right or a wrong answer here. I, I I do agree with Sal that I would I caution you not to overdo it. Uh, I mean, I'll have an, I'll give you another option that you could do um, is not run aesthetic at all and actually run a MAP suspension. And with MAP suspension, you can take that on the go with you. So you can run it while you're at home, which is a fun program. It's different. Uh, and all you need is a suspension trainer. You can strap that around a tree uh, when you're on the road or somewhere else and follow that program. And then when you get back from your, your stent where you're gone hunting and stuff and you're back, then you can resume uh, the bundle and go back to MAPS Aesthetic. So that's also an option. So there's a lot of things that you can do here. And then also keep in mind, um, you know, we, I know recently on the, the podcast, we shared that study that I think Lane Norton posted about about a month ago uh, where it talked about, you know, three weeks on and one week's off. And they compared those to the two groups of people, right, that train every single day for like three months consistently. And then the other group that took a week off every third week and the results were the same. So, you know, and you're going to be an act, you're, do, you're being active while you're out. So it's not like you're sedentary and eating garbage food and stuff like that. So I also wouldn't worry about sometimes having a week off of training and just focusing on what you probably love to do, which is hunting and hill climbing and doing those things. So I think it, it would, it still benefits you, you know, psychologically it gets in our head sometimes when our goal is to get shredded or look a certain way and you're not training for a whole week, but ultimately in the long term, it'll, it'll probably benefit your body sometimes to take it off. Yeah. And I think too, like it's, it's healthy to call audible. So if you know that you've been um, hitting certain parts of your body quite a bit, like obviously it's going to look totally different. Your structuring of, of activity and movement is going to look completely different than what you've been doing. So uh, to, to sort of just know to weave in, like say you haven't been expressing your upper body like you have been before, like I would you know, try to incorporate that somehow with body weight training, like Adam saying, like with a suspension trainer or, uh, you know, doing some kind of maps anywhere type programming, but, um, you're going to be able to bounce back once you get to the weights again. So it's not like, you know, this, this dire need to, to make sure like everything's dialed in, uh, it's okay to step out, but, but still try to, you know, express those, those movements and keep those muscles stimulated. Yeah, I think that kind of thought was, is that is it even worth running aesthetic right away if I'm going to be doing so many things that almost seem counterintuitive to it to me or counterintuitive to me, Right. you know, as opposed to say like doing that bodybuilding training, I'm going to be doing a lot more, uh, a lot more cardio style stuff. And is that just going to run against 
kind of what that programming should look like on aesthetic. Yeah, good. And you know what? Because we brought up two programs. I don't think you own. We'll just send them both to you. So you'll get yeah. suspension and anyway. oh wow, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah. And, and look, if you if you if you hunt successful and you want to send us some elk meat or something, <laughs> we'd be yeah. open to that. Elk jerky. Uh, that, that's that's the goal this year, boys. Is uh, in the mountains for elk, but it's like ten percent success rate up here. So, so <laughs> wow. see, that's, no, that's fantastic. Thank you so much well, for that. I really appreciate it. For you. Good right. luck, man. Justin's luck, got man. a great elk call. I do. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's great. Put Thanks, on the spot, guys. dude. All the best. Take it easy, ride. That's not how we do it, Justin. We put you out in the in the forest and have you walk around naked. Yeah. <laughs> the elk are like, oh, that's more like that's it. another elk. Yeah, oh. that's, that's more like it's coming back. <laughs> you know, I, you know, when I hear people say <clears throat> that, the, I mean, he's gonna go hunting like for two months or something like I know, that. I know, savage. Part of me is jealous. Like, how cool would that be? be? So awesome. Just go out and just be by yourself yeah, or with your nature boy. But yeah, and just do something like that sounds so awesome. But yeah, people, I, I get it too. I, I get that whole the the feeling of. Oh crap! I'm gonna stop working out. What am I gonna do? But yeah. boy, muscle memory is such a big it deal. Is, it Thankfully. is. It comes back super fast. And, and and like I said, especially when you're you're uh, he's going to go do something that's you know physically active yes. and demanding. Like so, he's all, he's only gonna probably lean out, right? Mm -hmm. He's on the move all day long and stuff like that. So when and when you're thinking, if your goal is aesthetics and you want to look good, uh, maybe not even working out for you know a week or two at a time, and but just doing all that activity yep. and making good food choices. He's gonna look good, and then the minute he gets right back to yep. the gym, when he gets back, he's his body's gonna respond. And or you have your suspension trainer out there with you, and so maybe you have a slower week of activity, and so maybe you you, you pull it out, wrap it around the tree, work out for thirty yeah. minutes or whatever like that, two or three times a week, and you're, you're gonna sustain yeah. quite a bit. And you know, I've seen arguments. I've actually seen arguments, and they're pretty compelling that you might actually make better gains if you take a month off every year. Right. For someone who's super super consistent, I've seen that argument. There was a the pro bodybuilder Kevin Lavrone, he used to actually do that. He would mm -hmm. take a lot of time off, lose lots of muscle, and then he'd like gain into the pre-contest. And of course he's one of the best bodybuilders. Well, of all especially time. if it you, makes a lot of sense. Especially if you do it with intention, right? Like it's not like you go off and you eat like an asshole for a month and yeah. you're not active. But if you're physically active and you're, yeah, you're like, things, okay, this month I'm gonna go Yeah, and I'm still yeah. and I'm still eating like that, I, body would probably respond very well to that and would do them do them well, you know? Yeah.